Welcome to Esper. In today's video, we're going to look at apps in Esper. Devices provide the foundation for the experiences, but apps are the last mile making the experiences come alive. And in today's world of agile development, you're seeing the rate of new app releases increase rapidly. The byproduct is increased complexity for fleet management, dealing with varied application version management scenarios. That's where Esper shines using our built-in app management capabilities. To access Esper's app management capabilities, simply click on apps in the left sidebar. And the first thing you'll see are apps that you have uploaded to the Esper app cloud. Esper has its own app cloud giving you full control over managing your apps without any dependencies on Google Play. It works across GMS and AOSP Android devices and across Android versions. So it gives you a way to push apps out and manage them to a diverse fleet. We have some nice features here for app management. For example, if you click on details for CPU Z, you can see that we list the available versions so they are very easy to see. As you upload them, they're each a separate entry. And you can also see what devices in your fleet each version is installed on. So it's very easy to figure out the state of your fleet relative to app version through Esper. You can add a description, making it very easy for your team to identify whether it's an early build or a version for a particular customer. And then we give you actions where you can delete any version off of your cloud or even download it as an APK locally if you need to. So with that, we'll go back to app management and show you how easy it is to upload apps to the Esper cloud. Simply click there and you can just drag and drop your APK and it will upload to the Esper cloud. Let's shift gears and take a look at Google Play Store integration. Esper supports managed Google Play, which means you can enroll your endpoint using Esper to create a managed Google Play account just for your device fleet. It's yours, no one else touches it, and it's managed through Esper. You can see that you have the rich universe of Google Play Store apps available to you to deploy to your fleet. You can make these available to your device users or alternatively just to be used to provision for your devices to push it out to your fleet after they're enrolled in Esper. You first have to approve a Google Play app to make it available through Esper. And we're gonna do that right now for one that seems to be pretty popular, Zoom. It's very simple to make Zoom available to your customers and employees or to push it out to certain devices in your fleet. You first go to the Zoom app and then you click on approve. As part of the approval process, it's gonna show you all the permissions that the app is asking for to make sure that you're okay with the permissions required for this app to run. And so if you are, just click on approve. Now here's a nice feature that Google provides, which is you can automatically accept new permissions that the app asks for. If you trust the app provider, no problem. Or if you don't necessarily trust them, you can have it automatically revoke permissions when a new permission is requested by the app. So it's your choice. And then you can also have notifications where you get email when a new permission has been requested, which is nice if you automatically approve so you can easily keep track of what's going on with these Google Play apps relative to your fleet. Now that we've added it, we can unapprove it if we wish, but we'll leave that as is and jump over to app collections. You'll see here that these are all the apps that we have approved for our managed Google Play account. At the bottom, as we scroll down, you'll see the Zoom app that we added. We can create a collection of approved apps in Manage Google Play, in this case for warehouse managers. You can give it a nice descriptive name to make it clear who this collection is for, to help you figure out what devices to install it in. We can easily select the needed apps for this collection. We'll go to the bottom and select Zoom for ad hoc meetings, and then include the G Suite apps, and that's it. So now we've just defined the only managed Google Play apps that will be available using this collection. You can either use it to manage which apps you push out to devices in your fleet, 
based on having the collection, or if you provide Google Play on the device to limit just these APKs being available in Google Play Store to be able to be installed locally on the device. Another cool capability of managed Google Play are private apps. So in addition to the Google Play Store apps, you can upload your own APKs to your managed Google Play account to make it available through Google Play locally on the device if you wish. We suggest that you would use the Esper Cloud instead as Esper Cloud will give you more fine-grained control over your apps and your versions. Next cool feature area provided by Managed Google Play are web apps. So you can see here that we have already created an Esper web app. It's for our blog, blog.esper.io, and we'll edit it to upload the Esper logo as our icon for the web app. And then boom, the web app is now available to use in your devices. Noting when creating a new web app, it takes about 15 minutes for it to be pushed out by Google to your managed Google Play account. You have three different display modes available, you choose. It's a very simple way to provide a web-based experience, even in kiosk mode. By the way, you need to have Google Chrome or WebKit available on each device, as it's a requirement for a web app. So that's an overview of managed Google Play. Now let's see how you can use it to push Google Play apps out to your devices. Let's take a look at groups. Our example endpoint has a fairly typical set of groups relative to what you do with your devices when managing a fleet. Let's say you have a request from your customer for their main fleet that they would like to have Zoom installed in their devices. You can install an app to a group, which by the way, you can do at the individual device level as well, and have a schedule installed to the group. For example, if you need to install only during a certain time window, such as after hours. Any offline devices will be queued and polled to make sure that when they come back online, the application will be installed on each device. So we make it very slick and easy to do scheduled installs. In addition, you can just immediately install and uninstall any app to that particular group. So let's install Zoom to the main fleet. You can see that the drop down list of available apps includes both your approved Google Play Store apps and the apps that you've uploaded to the Esper Cloud. We'll scroll down to Zoom, noting that you can just type in the first few letters of the app in the search and it'll take you right there. Uh, we'll select the version. In this case, there's only one version. And we'll simply click Install. This slide out appears, giving you very detailed status about the app installation progress, which ones were successful, which ones are still in the queue, which ones failed, and any that were canceled. So you can see that we have four that are in progress, we have one in the queue, and we have two that failed. I purposely disabled Google Play on these GMS devices using Esper to make them behave like AOSP devices Thus, we make it clear to you why they erred out. Installing a Google Play app to a diverse GMS fleet can be tricky because you have to match the minimum API level to the GMS device's firmware level, and the app has to be available for the region the devices are deployed in. This detailed information can be very helpful for you to figure out what's going on. So now you have to install another app to your fleet. We're going to use CPU-Z as the example. With CPU-Z, we have two versions, and you want to put the latest version on the devices in your fleet. So we'll go ahead and install it. Selecting the version to use is very easy. As you can see, it is now installing, and the app install progress sidebars come out. So you can see which ones are in progress, and then which ones we successfully installed on. And so we've done six and we have one in the queue, likely because that device is offline. We'll easily jump to it to check, and sure enough, it's indeed offline. The navigation is very nicely set up so that you can jump from the app installation view to the particular device. So now let's go back to the group view. You have a set of devices in inventory that are running the old version of CPU-Z. What you need to do is bring those devices up to the latest version before you ship it. It's very simple. Before you ship, when you pull out of inventory, you just install the latest version, good to go. 
We also have an Amazon Lambda that can do this for you automatically, working with Esper's device SDK. So you can see that our app install status slide out has appeared again, telling you which devices are in progress for install, successfully installed, in the queue, failed or canceled. You can see that we have one in the queue and what we do is over a 24 hour period, uh, we attempt to install it to the device when it comes online. And if it does, we'll take care of the installation for that device. Now that we've seen how app install works at the group level, let's see how you can take the same actions for you at the device level. If you want to choose a particular device, it doesn't matter if it's AOSP or GMS, you can very easily do it from the Esper console. We'll go ahead and choose the Zebra TC20. We'll go to apps in the top bar. And from here, we nicely show you all the apps that are available on the device. So we'll take a quick look at preloaded apps using this filter. These are in ROM apps. And you can see the way we set up this device is we chose to hide the shortcuts on the home screen for the in ROM apps. We have this feature set app state that lets you show it if you want to. And the shortcut will appear on the home screen or you can even disable it so the app will not be able to operate at all. You can filter by Google Apps installed from the Google Play Store, or you can take a look at Enterprise Apps, which are the apps that you've installed on the device from the Esper Cloud. It makes it very easy for you to manage apps at the device level in addition to the group level. That's the end of today's video on Esper's app management capabilities. We've shown you generally how app management with Manage Google Play and Esper Cloud works in Esper, how to install and uninstall apps at the group level, and how to do it with devices. Thank you.